day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Well, maybe because, see, I, I, I put up a, uh, a document, I don't know what you guys are looking at, because, and now I realize how needful it is to be put up. <laughs> so one of the things I think it really needs to happen is, is that we really need to get, learn, and move beyond now, this, this reasoning on the surface, and get to the very heart of what heart of uh, heart in scripture. Right. That's why I put that document out there. Mm -hmm. You look at it, as a matter of fact, uh, <laughs> I, get, I gave at the end of that thing a, 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 a homework application. You I gave you email. You sent an email or text? No, at the very bottom, there is a, there is a uh, practice assignment for Matthew, from, for Mark chapter four, verses one through nine. See that at the very bottom? Yeah. I can't, I can't pull it up. You have to download it and then pull it up outside of. Oh. All right, outside. OK. Zoom. I just printed right. it. And so I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be really interested to see what, you, what, 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 what we come up with for. What does God really mean in Scripture? So that when you start having these discussions, you see, the reason why we can have these discussions be all over the place, because we're not really spent the time to really look at, okay, what is God really saying? Mm -hmm. And you're going to find out there's going to be a whole lot of work that's going to be required to be in order to get to this place. Because if you write the CRT, if you, if you follow that little simple process, <laughs> So the parable of the sword, one that we talked about for we don't talk about all these parables. Now I'm, <coughs> I'm, I'm going to give you a chance to tell us what you believe, what you really believe God is saying. Mm -hmm. So now, now once once you can once you can get this thing down to what God is saying, now you can understand how it should be applied. Because application is determined upon what you perceive to be God's revelation. That one. Mark chapter four. I, I may I, I got you know I did something. I, I, I made a suggestion. I do suggest you go read this same parable and all of the gospel before you start trying to assess what God is really saying. Because Mark ain't the only one that wrote about it. Right. Luke wrote about it. Amen. All deal with the very same. And Mark is dealing with the store fish, right? Yeah. Did you want to bring? And we can bring it up. You want to bring up the next week? Mm. You want to bring up the next week, right? That'll be good. That'll be good. I think to get us to a place where we can have a basis to now to go very, to go beyond where we are in terms of understanding. Who God is as right. He revealed Himself in Scripture. Right, and and you know I, the one thing I just wanted to bring into uh, as as we're closing up on the thing is uh, Elder was that Cain. I bring back our Cain thing we brought in. Cain actually heard from God and and didn't change. So our job, you know, is to preach the gospel because we can't make nobody. If God can't make a person, we talk about, I mean, we, he gave, I think that's why he gave that example in the, in the, God. <laughs> if God, if God can't do it, I mean, Cain was, are you, are you agreeing with me, Elder? I mean, Cain was in a clear example of hearing directly from God and rejected what God told him to do. Oh yeah, we all did that. I mean, I, I, and, I, and, and that's something that I understand. Yeah. And I'm saying I'm, well, I'm rolling and, and I say again from from from, 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 from my perspective, yeah, I do. I mean, if a person doesn't receive Christ, the rest of the stuff is a moot issue. It's not it's like they can't comprehend it. He says in his own word. 
the cardinal mind is not subject to the things of God, not the black cardinal mind or the white cardinal mind, but the cardinal mind, period. Not subject to the things of God, neither can it be for the spiritually certain. That does not eliminate the necessity to preach truth. He well, said, teach awesome. all men, teaching all men what I have taught you, the things that I have taught you, right? He doesn't say teach some men, he said preach, and this is the funny part, he says preach the gospel to every creature. Preach. Don't get upset about the gospel to every creature. Right. Whether they whether whether they whether they can receive it at that point or not, preach it to them. Now, for me, when we preach the gospel to our people, and we being quote unquote spiritual leaders, however it's supposed to go, and we're siding with the world systems and, and, and employing the things they've done, it's not it's ineffective. I think, and I hate to say this sometimes, but I still think it's true. The greatest accomplishment of King was to show that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Our people proved themselves as immoral and as decadent as any other race of people on the planet. But, and, that's and, 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 and that is to be expected. He's the thing of it is, is now let's address the thing that can fix that. But, and that is the gospel. But you put all of talking about looking at those things that are below and not looking at those things above. But let me say this. Do you think that black people are the only ones that are killing themselves and calling their women out of their names? No, been, that's programming thing. Yeah. Programming but, thing. But, but, but we're not the only, they only, the, the media shows how bad we are and how bad we are only. They do not show each different culture in and of themselves like they show the black people. Right. So there are just as many white people killing white people. More. Asian killing Asians. More. Indians killing Indians. More. It, it's just, it's just, it's been isolated to make us look bad. And then. It's been systematic that way. So when we accept that, then, then that is us accepting this world's vision. Exactly of a race of people right but even in that we are still only to share the gospel because we can't change nobody because nobody can even change themselves then the question becomes why are we instructed to teach i mean it's not us doing it it's god using us to work, working through us to bring people to other levels of spirituality and, and that's a necessity. And, and 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 what we're looking at is definitely not that. And so why, how are these people even successful in the first place? I mean, somebody's buying their records. Your but kids buying these records, you? my kids buying these records. But that has this nothing to do the gospel, with this. this has nothing to do with the gospel that's being propagated among us. Are we doing that effectively? Are we out there, or are we fighting back against the system that's trying to destroy our no, kids no. and anybody else's? Are no, we no, effectively no, pointing the finger at what? The answer is, are you doing it? Yes, I am. I am. You're, not, you're, I you're not responsible for the behavior. You're not responsible for what, what, what Pastor Taylor decides he wants to do. Wow. Well, well I, I think, I don't know how I gave that impression that I am responsible for that. I really wish that that was a miscommunication. I don't even feel responsible for somebody else's behavior. Well, then, but I do feel responsible for whether or not I, I, I address the issue for them or to them. The whole conversation is about proper, it. But, but then are the you ashamed? It became about the manifestation of, of, of unrighteousness among our people. And the way that we are addressing it is not through the gospel. Not only that, you have given you have given God an attitude about that thing that is inappropriate for God. I don't like that ain't God. That's Johnson. I, 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 I would I would beg to differ that uh, because I think that different people are given different uh, spirits or attitudes towards certain situations so they can address it from the angle that they're seeing it. Well, I, I, don't, I don't think that God just gives us all. The, I mean, Paul and Silas saw the gospel. What bless you got? 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 I gave you a blessing. Oh, Paul, Paul, Paul and Silas. When Paul separated from Silas, they defeated over John Mark. Give me a verse. You want to hold on a second? I'll give it to you. Yeah. I, I want to use my advice. But it, 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 it is effective. That this is God's attitude toward black people. What verse are you using to justify your stance that this is how God says it? That God does not hate sin? No. 
Oh no, I think he's trying to say that you're putting everybody in one basket. It's like if Brother Addison's uh, ministry is not effective. Brother Addison is preaching Black Lives Matter and leading them into putting their pants down and everything else. My point is you're putting all of us in the same, in the one basket. And I, I think you need to back off a little bit on that part, right? It's not us, we. We as black people are not walking around with pants down and, and saying the bad things about the people. Not we all are not doing that. There's a segment of the organization, not organization, but people that are doing immoral things as well as white people doing immoral things as well as black people, black people are the only one doing immoral things. That's what that's what that's how you're painting it, Elder, is what I'm saying. You're painting it as if something that we're doing that others are not doing. Oh, and, yeah. and and yeah, yeah, and if I paint it that way, yeah. yeah that's how you I paint that's how Well, you I remember this is something that's really appeared to be true and it wasn't true for Israel. When Israel stepped out of alignment, Israel got a spanking in front of everybody because they were an example. He said he would make them a, a head wagon in a, in, a, in, a, in a parable among the people because they were set out to exemplify him in the earth. That was their purpose. That's when he talked to the and Pharisees, he was very harsh with them. He so, didn't come with his unbelievers like he came with his scribes and Pharisees. So but they you, had been chosen for that task. Right. So when you when you look at black people, you look at us as, as as like an Israelite, as one homogenous or uh, what about monolithic group, or are we a are we kind of diverse? Are we a diverse group of people? We, I think black people. In this we have community. had because of our skin tone, because of the, 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 the because of the economic systems of this country. We have been molded into a, 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 what do you, what do you what call it? The system it? wants we're, to do that. You mean the system? We're more, more monolithic, and, and we're we'll dealt with it according to that. Right, but that's not how we are, though, right? And we're still dealt with that. In a yeah, but that's not how we are. I don't care about how the world, the, you know, racism and all that stuff wants to do that, right? They they wanted, they wanted to mold us in, in slavery. They wanted to mold us even after slavery. But for us, though, I mean, cause I'm talking about it's, it's, if you repeat what they say, then you they're being effective. I'm saying we are not monolithic, right? All the church ministers are not preaching and endorsing the behavior that you 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 know you're condemning, right? The church is not ministries are not condemning the killing of black people in Macon, right? I mean the church is not doing that, right? The ministries are not doing that, right? What ministry you know doing that? What? You what mean doing what they're doing or doing? The killing of blacks in Macon. What ministry in Warner Robins or Macon is that's endorsing the behaviors that you you know you outline? What ministry is doing? The, that? Ministry, the, 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 the most ministry that I've come in contact with that don't preach the gospel. I mean, I mean, I it, 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 any man, anybody that any ministry that teaches cardinality, any ministry that teaches something other than Christ, any ministry that teaching other than than Christian development, character development. And that's like 90% of us. Most of us have gotten off in the garden house. Sit in a minute. I don't get that, man. I don't get that. You, you were in one of these churches all your life. Not all my life. I mean, I've been in several different churches. I didn't study Catholicism for How long have you not been in one of them churches? Uh, let me see. The last five years. Okay. So, so how old are you? I'm 63. Okay, so five and five and six and three. So what happened to those other <laughs> fifty-eight years? I observed the error and practiced it. And okay. I guess that's why I was adamant about it as I am. Okay, so all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, don't you realize that God used all of those years in that thing to bring you to a place where you can see the error of that thing? Yeah, and I believe that I'm obligated to share that experience. Okay, so all, all I'm saying is. When people are out there doing unsafe things, that does not mean that God is not at work in their lives to move, to bring them to a place of enlightenment. You I, think, I, think that, that, that is, that is, I think that has been the, the situation from the dawn, from the dawn of the king, from the beginning of the kingdom. He has been working in and through us all this period of time. We've had our swing back and forth, to, back to Christ, away from Christ, so on and so on. So but why you've been do doing that to save souls. Why do you want them to stop drinking? Why do you want them to stop shaking their booty? Why do you want them to stop doing those things? If, it is, if it's in those very things that God reveals himself. Because he also reveals himself in righteousness. No. Not yeah, for yeah. Our God. 
Yeah, I'm afraid so because uh, that, that he, he reveals the righteousness. We need to the out of the corner. And you, honestly, you, the only way God can get to an unsaved person is to get to that person in the sin that he's in. That's I understand I, that. I, but there is a people that has been called out to represent him. And those people manifest. I ain't talking no, about I am. I am. See, I'm talking see, about him. That's a whole different application. Well, that's that's the application that I that's the mindset that I have. Our people are to show the righteousness of God. That's what said, be not conformed to the world, be transformed by renewing your, your mind that you might prove that good and perfect and acceptable will of God. It is given to us to manifest that. So you it is given to us to instruct each other in righteousness and to encourage each other in that in order that they can see that abundant life that he, he said he can't give up. So you really talk about preaching to ministries to to conform to the application of the doctrine of Christ, right? That's what you're talking about. I don't know who you're talking to now. Now, now you, you can't, you can't. I don't know who you're talking to now. I know. You can't, ex you can't exclude uh, the necessity to go out and propagate the gospel because that's how we bring people in. That's the recruiting effort. Right. Once they're brought in, now we have to instruct the righteousness. That's the sanctification and also the representation of Christ, the kingdom. That's so, the black, so, black lives matter, so, so Black Lives Matter is excluded from your discussion, right? Because that's not it you, doesn't matter with me. That's, not Sorry, a, man. that's not a ministry. That's not to a me, uh, 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 That's not a ministry. Man, it, it is to me, Black but Lives Matter is is a it's a it's a real it's a real situation. It's, that's a social problem that we have in the United States of America that is not going to be fixed. It's not a that's not a fix for the problem because the problem still, like you said, we got to see beyond the issue. The issue ain't the social injustice. The issue it's is the corruption of the soul. Say again. It's not a church. It's not a. It's not the body of Christ. It's not the kingdom. It is not a church. Let's get that straight. So if it's not a church, if it's, it's not, not the body of Christ, and it is not, it's not. Mm -mm. Then it's not it, the fix. It's unsaved. It's not a fix. It's not a fix. It's not the fix. It is unsaved then. No, yeah, definitely not. If it's not the kingdom, it's unsaved. Well, then, why do you expect unsaved people to do saved things? My expectation is that they will do unsaved things. That's why I'm trying to get them out of that. Like I said, I'm not fighting against it as the entity. We need to bring them to Christ and not the Black Lives Matter. All you need to do is preach the gospel, and when you've done that, your job is finished. If they uh, that, that, but then when I see when Christ tells me that, then I, I, I'll start to explain myself to just doing that. I mean, he's giving everybody the spirit, that whatever spirit is they give him. But the thing to me is that it's a deception because it's pulling us in a direction. And I say deception from the church perspective, not from the world perspective. Yes. Now you sound like what Cain was talking, right? Cain was trying to do something that he couldn't do. Oh, shouldn't have done. He could have done. He could have done what he needed to do. Yeah. The Cain factor, right, is God the said, Cain well, this is what I'm saying. God said, why are you angry? Why are you rough? Why is your continent falling? If you do what you're supposed to do, will you not be accepted? Your part is to do what you're supposed to do, not be angry, because obviously what they're doing is not accepted by God. Let God work with that, right? But but Cain actually executed more sin, right? I mean, I'm trying to say, why are you angry? Why is your continent falling because of Black Lives Matter's movement? You do what you I, I think. I think that we kind of, kind of got, got well, made that's too the much. That's it's not the issue of Black Lives Matter. If Black Lives Matter is a distraction you, to, 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 to people who, I mean, it's like, uh, social injustice is a distraction to the people who need to get saved. But why are we're trying to say for us to give them Black Lives Matter and say this is a cure all? The thing that you said that's really beautiful to me is the fact that you said these kids don't know God. Right. Now, if I'm right. throwing this thing before them and this is Black Lives Matter and their expectation is going to be a resolve, I saw kids out there were protesting and that really it touched me because we were, we were looking at this, this social, this thing that happened, this guy got murdered on the streets and these kids out there protesting from a a, 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 a a social perspective thinking that's going to bring resolution and i looked at the lives no, of these children and these children were lost now you missed they, the point oh, 
Let me show you something. You missed the point. The whole reason those people are out there protesting, they're protesting against injustice. Right. Now, hold on. Is God for or against injustice? Well, of course, with your conversation, he uses injustice to get people saved. Let me ask you a question. Does the Bible testify that God is either for or against injustice? That's I think issue. that God, from my, everything that I've learned in the scriptures, he is not he is against injustice. Okay, so... He talked about a parable, talking about divers' weights and that kind of thing. Okay, so is that not the very same thing that Martin Luther King took to the streets against injustice? He did. But he also gave the source for where there's going to be the resolution for it. It was going to be God. Listen, all I'm, all I'm trying to get to do is what, step by step. Do you, do you agree that he took to the streets to address injustice? He did. Okay. Are these people taken to the street to adjust to adjust injustice? They are. Okay, so what's wrong with that? What was his resolution? There is no resolution of injustice when the heart of man is still corrupt. The very hearts of the children that they were out there dealing with the injustice from the perspective that they saw it, they okay, still had other people on the other side of the corn who were just as corrupt as they were who thought they were unjust. Okay, so